Hi everyone, um, I hope everyone's staying safe and well um, during this period. Uh, sorry we haven't been really uploading much. Um, that is sort of mainly down to the fact that we haven't been able to get out and about filming, um, but also due to the fact that um, when we're filming the kind of interviews in the documentary, we it's very easy to put those interviews out as standalone pieces. But when you're filming the kind of search operation, you just, you know, if you're not really getting any results, then it's kind of, you know, pointless content to watch. And the search part of the documentary is like really fragmented. Um, so we'll put cameras out in one place um, and then we'll, you know, sort of have to take them down and reposition them when we get a new lead in. So it's not so easy to put that all into one short, concise film and release it as a something on YouTube. One thing to say is that we're still like working really hard um, trying to get this documentary made. We're also, um, we've also got a load of cameras out. There was a really interesting lead in Hampshire where someone found um, a deer that had been half eaten. Um, looked really suspicious um, and it was right next to a train line um, and so I've I'm trying to get in touch with the people who operate that part of the the rail line to see if we can access some of the security camera footage um, because we know the area of rail we also know the time and date that basically we want to look at um, so there's a couple of promising things like that going on not that anyone probably will be but if anyone's wondering what my thoughts were on that um, puma that had been photographed um, I think that's a domestic cat um, there's one photo of it from the side and it's with the sort of the face shape it just looks like a domestic body shapes can be really misleading body sizes sorry can be really misleading um, and whilst it does look big you know that's not really for me anything to kind of anything to go on it's got a lot of domestic cat features um, and not a lot of puma feature features um, but yeah just my opinion I'm no expert so as we wrap up the documentary, um, we are going to be moving on to other um, things that we hope you'll find interesting. Um, one of those is a partnership that we now have with the Lynx UK Trust. They are um, an organisation that are trying to rewild Lynx um, throughout the UK forests. We're going to be working with them to produce um, a number of videos and animations to help generate support for what they're doing because we're really on board with it. Um, all those videos you'll be able to find on this channel so please subscribe if you haven't already. Anything else to mention? Uh, no, not yet. Um, sorry again that we haven't really been putting out any content um, at all um, in the last couple of months but rest assured the documentary is still progressing um, we're still getting lots of lots of good footage um, it's really coming together um, in a way that we're all proud of please feel free to email hello at grizzly.co.uk um, if you've got any interesting bits of information or you just want to sort of say hi um, and or any ideas about things that could be done in the future so thank you for taking the time to listen um, there'll be more content coming soon, um, just as soon as we're out of this, um, lockdown. Thank you.